Good morning, church. Welcome to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share you a, a, a devotion entitled "An Attitude of Faith." An attitude of faith. I want to read from Philippians chapter one and verse twelve. It said this way, "And I want you to know, my dear brothers and sisters, that everything that has happened to me here has helped to spread the good news. Everything that I go through." Everything that I'm facing, all the obstacles that's in front of me, and all the trouble and heartache that I'm going through in life, it has helped me to spread the good news. It has helped me to be and do what God asked me to do and be. You know, shortly before Paul was executed, he wrote this in Philippians chapter one, verses twelve to four. Continue on verses thirteen and fourteen. All right. 12 to 14 but I want to read just now we read 12 now with 13 and 14 for everyone here including the whole palace guard knows that I am in chains because of Christ and because of my imprisonment most of the believers here have gained confidence and boldly speak God's message without fear later on he wrote this in Philippians chapter 4 Verse 4, it says, And be full of joy in the Lord, I say again, rejoice. And be full of joy in the Lord. Again, I say it again, rejoice. You see, Paul had a PMA. So, what is a PMA? PMA is a positive mental attitude one more time pma is positive mental attitude he couldn't control you know paul could not control his environment his circumstance his situation but he chose an attitude that enabled him to overcome them even if he has to go through he chose an attitude where in his mind uh, uh, he chose a positive mental attitude where he said no matter how hard how difficult it is it will help me to become stronger it will help me to become better i may be suffering and going through difficult time now it may be painful now but it will help me in my life you know dr dr martin lloyd jones said have you, have, have you realized that most of your unhappiness in life is due to the fact that you are listening to yourself instead of speaking to yourself? One more time. Have you realized that most of your unhappiness in life is due to the fact that you are listening to yourself instead of talking to yourself? Isn't that so true? We are listening to ourselves, we, we complain, we remember and we give ear to it, we talk about it, we think about it, we, we ponder over it, rather than we speak to ourselves, ourselves where we say, you know, I know it's tough, it's difficult, but my God is faithful, my God is my strength, my God is able to enable me, my God will grant me the grace that's sufficient for me to go through, I am going to be in a victor and not a victor, I'm going to overcome it, I'm going to go through it successfully. Sometimes we listen so much to the negative things of ourselves and we speak to ourselves, but we forgot to talk to ourselves the good things about God. When you meet people, do you tell yourself that you will they will let you down? You never do that, right? When you face new experiences and challenges in life, does a voice within you tell you that you are going to fail? No, you will never hear that. A man one day came upon a little league baseball game one afternoon when he was walking in the park towards his home. He stopped and asked a boy at the duckout means the stand that is slightly below the ground, the duck in, about the score of the baseball game. The boy responded 18 to nothing. We are behind. The man said, I bet you are discouraged. The little boy replied, Why should I be discouraged? We haven't been up to bat yet. And we have not hit yet. Then you will see that we will not lose. What's a difference an attitude of faith makes? It's so important for you and I to learn to cultivate a good attitude of faith and how it makes you and I. The last words, the last words recorded in the Bible are in Revelation 22 
verse 21. It says this, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Have faith. God will give you the grace to handle whatever may come along your way. Whatever it may be that you are facing, whatever it may be that you are going through, whatever opposition that may stand in front of you or and or may encounter in the year 2022, His grace is sufficient for you to face and handle them all. His strength is available for you and I as you now learn to look to Him and rely and to trust in Him. Amen? And that's why it says in the last verse in Revelation 22, verse 21, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ will be with you all. Amen? Amen? So, today I want to, today I want to encourage you to have an attitude of faith, to believe that God is with you, He has never abandoned you, and He will help you to go through successfully because He loves you, He cares a whole lot about you, and He's with you. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray to strengthen us, bless us with a great day, and renew our mind, and help our attitude to have an attitude of faith, to believe. Though to man it's impossible, be God, all things are possible. And to Him who believe in you, all things are possible too. All this we pray, for a great year in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day and a great week. God bless.